have been since multiple challenges. First by Australia 2 in 1983, then Team New Zealand 1995, and then Alinghi in 2003. A lot of water coming out from there. It's Juan Vila and Brad Butterworth are looking over. Their shoulders, it's Juan Vila, the outstanding navigator out to the left. Awful lot of water coming out of there. You've got to remember, these are the coolest and baddest and fastest, the most technical technology advanced sailboats ever to race in the America's Cup. And the America's Cup is all about technology and this duel really does follow the exact spirit and intent of the deed of gift. And uh, two teams get together and just get into it with the best of the best. And uh, here, even though we're not seeing much of a boat race on the second reach, these guys haven't given up. They're dumping water ballast. Ernesto's driving. They're looking around. It's not over yet. I've been miles ahead in boat races and had a little breakdown or hit a hole of no wind, but uh, you know, not looking too good for Lingy here, but it's not over yet. Rib. It's got the blue flash, uh, the uh, orange flashing light on, indicating a penalty That's against right. the Lingi. But BMW Oracle, it looked to me, to my eye, have slowed considerably. Oh, I wonder if the breeze is a lot lighter up forward. And I'm pretty sure that BMW Oracle are, are going to have to jibe. Yes, Andy, it looks like they're getting ready to jibe. Uh, some of the bowmen are moving around up forward. and But it also does appear to be lighter up here. The main hull has been uh, kissing the water a little bit and uh, the wing is cambered up to the max it appears from my angle. Uh, they're pretty casual on board but they're definitely they're, they're looking like they're setting up for a jibe to the finish. And it's coming up relatively rapidly but uh, it does appear to be lighter wind. I don't know why the main hull's not flying. Yeah. yeah, BMW Oracle have gone very soft indeed. Their main hull is in the water. And, I, and I'm pretty sure that they're not laying the finish line. They have to jibe again. And uh, there is a small window because Alinghi have come down in the last 10 minutes with a really nice bit of pressure. They've bowed down. Here, here we go. Here's the jibe. The jibe on BMW Oracle. They rolled the jib up. They're getting it around their forestay. And then they're going to unroll the jib on the other side while Alinghi are steaming down towards the finishing line. I don't see, I don't see any jibe on Alinghi. I just see them going right down towards the finish. And here come BMW Oracle. Now they're on port. If these two boats are that close and come together, well, we could see another incident on the finish. But I think, to my eye, BMW Oracle definitely still got a comfortable lead here, PJ. Yeah, Cam here. It does look like they have a, a good lead. Uh, one camera angle had them had them uh, looking very close, but they've jived. They're up to speed. They're back into power. It looks like they had a little light spot right prior to the jive. And uh, on board BMW, BMW Oracle, everything reasonably calm. On Lingy, they were sailing lower. They looked like they had a puff, but it does not appear as though they're going to get there. No, they haven't been able to do enough, it looks like. And this will be the final jibe into the finish. And Ernesto Bertarelli has had his hands firmly on the cup for the last two Yeah, since, since 1995. The two boats cross each other and that's BMW Oracle Racing crossing on port in front of Alinghi who get a nice puff as they come down towards the finish. Now on board Alinghi, they are just changing their head so They're going to take down the big uh, number one Genoa and they're going to put up their number three solo jib. And I think that's probably for them to do their penalty. It'll be irrelevant, their penalty. However, the red flag still got something, but at the moment it is BMW Oracle who are leading Alinghi. In the shadow of the finish, race two, America's Cup 33, and USA BMW Oracle set to win race two and the America's Cup. 
For the Lingi is flying a red flag, a protest flag, what will they do? Will they protest? Will that influence and change things for the outcome of this race, for the outcome of the regatta? But as things change, as they stand at the moment, after two and a half years of controversy and litigation, finally, America's Cup 33 has been decided on the water. February 14, 2010, Valencia, Spain. The America's Cup is America's again. BMW Oracle with their Trimoran USA, an amazing wing sail, skippered by James Spittle, with each two to Mast in New Zealand from 1995 to 2003, and then in Europe for the last seven years. Now, the America's Cup returns to the United States, this time to the Golden Gate Yacht Club San Francisco. These giant muddy holes have taken sailing where it has never been, featuring the most extreme and fastest yachts to sail in the America's Cup in 159 years. Now this 33rd edition is another watershed event in the Cup Sailing's most illustrious brand and loser prize. And BMW Oracle become the first challenger to win a deed of gift challenge. Matthew Mason giving a huge hug to Jimmy Spittle. Matthew Mason wins his America's Cup for the third time up on the back. Jimmy Spittle winning his America's Cup for the first time. And here goes Alinghi going through their penalty turn. Doing it so much more quickly this time than they did at the end of the first race. Amazing that Alinghi has caught penalties in the start sequences of race one and race two. An outstanding crew aboard Alinghi. Brilliant sailors who've done a wonderful job. Many of them bringing the America's Cup to Europe for the first time back in 2003. And Russell Coots now wins his 17th race in America's Cup competition. And James Spittle and his crewmate Joey Newton, both from Australia, who sailed with Sid Fisher in their early days of sailing out of Sydney, Australia. Shooting stars never stop even when they reach the top. What a brilliant effort by Jimmy Spittle. A rising star in world sailing. He has been brilliant from the time he arrived in Auckland in 2000 on Young Australia and became a real force on the world match racing tour and now this Star Wars spaceship enterprise because they went onto the port ley line and it was time to precision down to fractions So now the Alinghi comes down to the line and it depends what they want to do with this red flag protest. Do they want to pursue it? Or do they say things on the reaches that they feel? Let's leave this on the water, settle on the water, and will the sun set here in Valencia on Alinghi's tenure of the America's Cup for the last seven years? Five minutes, 26 seconds is the 